Well, I guess, you know, with with your TikTok lives, is there any sort of tactical strategy into like, like some creators that do their lives, they'll have like, you know, their OnlyFans username, like kind of hiding in the background and stuff like that. Do you, do you use any little tactics like that? Or are you just kind of hanging out and then just whoever shows up, shows up? I used to pin it. Um, and then I stopped doing that because I know that AI is always, always evolving to try and sort of catch people out. So I started treating my TikTok lives as more almost separate. I think that's because I saw the separate income stream that was coming from the TikTok lives. So I'm no longer just using it as a funnel. Um, and I found that people were essentially just watching me. And then after a while of watching my TikTok lives, that's when they'd make the decision to sort of come through and subscribe because Ultimately, I don't think you need to do things where it's so in your face because if someone does like like you and they like what you have to offer, um, then they will naturally go and look at what other things that you've got on, whether it's your Instagram, whether you've got a shop. But like, I don't do anything, even on my... You'll see some girls on TikTok live, like they're getting banned for sitting in like bikinis and like um, trying to basically try and get as much traffic in on the live as possible. So like they'll be doing like, actions that is not appropriate for tiktok on the tiktok live well and there's so much value in like keeping your accounts alive you know active and growing and you know i've always kind of followed that train of thought like i'm so afraid to lose my accounts because starting from scratch is like a punch to the gut there's a million ways to to do things and some creators are super risky with their strategies. We're kind of, you know, we'll take some risks to test things here and there. Um, like right now we're playing around with the try on hauls on YouTube and stuff like that. Some people can get away with certain things on social media and the account stays up somehow magically. I think that's becoming less and less though because I do see accounts getting burned through left, right and center. So I think it does catch up with you. In your case, I mean, the way... Because a lot of creators do TikTok live, but like kind of like you said, the the amount of accounts that they burn through just by trying to you know do sneaky little tactics and and things like that. Um, how, have you had trouble with your accounts getting banned on TikTok? Um, I actually got invited to TikTok headquarters, which I think is hilarious. <laughs> London. Wow. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember you you mentioned that in the group. Yeah, what. Uh, how does all of that work? That's pretty cool. Essentially, I partnered it with an agency. So you'll have TikTok live stream agencies. They don't take anything from you, but you'll be part of a group where they give you advice out. And because you can battle, I don't, I don't do this on TikTok live, but you can battle other creators. I don't know if you've seen people battling on TikTok mm-hmm. live. Um, but basically, like in the way that you and Sierra are sort of like pitted against each other now on two screens. Um, your communities will then both be in and they will send you gifts. I don't really understand why people do it, but they do. They'll send gifts to make sure that that creator wins. So if someone sends like a TikTok universe, that's like £350, which is what, like $600 in the space of um, like a minute. And an agency, they take, so TikTok pays the agency, if that makes sense. They don't take anything from you. And um, because of how well I was doing with the gifts, um, I had a message through from the guy that manages the agency and he said, um, we'd like to invite you down to TikTok headquarters just to do like a bit of networking and um, sort of meet other creators that are doing particularly well on TikTok Live, which I thought was quite funny that they'd invited a, like a dominatrix down. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> so did you meet, did you end up meeting like other like other people? To yeah, it's way cool. it, was like, um, it was interesting because there's people, so there was a guy there that just plays guitar, so he just live streams playing a guitar and people will sort of gift as he's sort of busking so not only is he getting sort of his busking income but he's also like live streaming his busking on tiktok live oh. um and like it's pretty much anything that you can do on there like there's a guy i'm gonna just get kind of name drop as someone who's doing very well on tiktok live yeah yeah there's a guy called bevo and he's a british creator and he's got no back teeth so he just basically sits on TikTok live eating like Yorkshire puddings and like different foods. And because he, <laughs> he eats in such a weird way, he will just send gifts. Damn, that's wild. And um, he's making about 25k a month now. That's crazy. I've seen those people that even they will be like sitting and reading a book, like not even looking up from it and just being like, 
you know, and people are sending them gifts and stuff. And I'm like, you really can't do anything on here. Because sometimes when I see like the OF streams where they're trying to just generate traffic to their OF on TikTok and they're sitting there and not talking, I'm like, we, it is worth putting in a little bit of effort on this live stream because you can use that as dual income. So don't just think of it as, oh, this is a traffic funnel. Think of it as, oh, this is also me at work. You know, like if you post a TikTok, so I always post a TikTok 10 minutes before I go live because then that increases the chance that that video will then go viral, which is then acting as passive traffic when I come off live. Mm. So cause it'll cause a spike in views, you see. So they'll go on my live and then if I posted a video 10 minutes ago and they'll look on it, it's more likely that they're going to engage, which then obviously sends the likelihood up that it's going to do do well. Aside from TikTok Live uh, or TikTok in general, what would you say is is the next best thing that's working for you? 